morning guys, how's everybody? Do you know what, I had a gorgeous weekend, just lovely. Went to a great gig on Friday night in the Tree Arena. Jen got it as a Christmas present for me and it was the fundraiser for Sean Cox, the Liverpool fan that was uh, beaten nearly to death uh, in Roma. And he now has, you know, multiple medical problems because of the beating that he got. Thankfully now, um, you know, he is going to get the treatment that he needs and stuff like that. And, um, <clears throat> but this was a fundraiser and it was put together by John Bishop, the comedian, the Liverpool comedian. And it was just fantastic. Like you had the caliber of, like Michael McIntyre is a huge comedian in England. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. He was there. Darrell Breen, Jason Bourne. Um, who else is there? Deirdre O'Kane. Um, Des Bishop. Tommy Tiernan. Like, there was about eight of them on. And they were all top quality, you know, big caliber comedians. All giving their time for nothing. And I have to say, my favourite of the night was Jason Bourne. He was just real relatable comedy that you'd remember from your childhood and stuff and Jesus everybody was in a kink but everybody now they, I have to say every one of them was good because I wouldn't be a big fan of Des Bishop now and he was very very good but uh, that was Friday night and then Saturday watched my beloved Liverpool and then Sunday did a 10k walk on the fucking beach I thought it was only 7 or 8k it was actually 10 10k walk on the beach and then lovely dinner and then a nice movie last night so all in all it was a fairly perfect weekend was i gigging no and do i care no to be honest um no it's it's busy it's busy in other ways do you know what i mean and it'll be busy going forward february's a mental month so i'm actually i'm actually relishing the the, the rest and the break and stuff like that so and um yeah, as I was saying yesterday on one of the stories that uh, I use this time very, very well and I utilize it um, to its full potential. So I'm, you know, in touch with venues, I'm, I'm answering emails and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I'd set myself a goal to be up on a few wedding websites by the first week of January in AM and I've already got something like eight inquiries off one of them that's in the space of space for a week which is ridiculous you know so anyway no it's not well i suppose it is around yeah no i was down yes as i said on the beach and i brought the dog down with me and i always have about five or six bags with me little poo bags because you know she's going to go do you know what i mean and i don't mind her going in grass but starts going in the sand but you can't really stop her because it's it's mainly we went down to Donna Bate but like on three occasions and I think it was because there wasn't so many people like I was walking I, we, we bet along now to be honest me seven the dog we um we like we made an exercise thing out of it rather than just a stroll and um but on three occasions I witnessed three owners letting the dog shit so much so I offered one of them a bag and his answer was ah no sure the fuck it it's grand only because I think he said that because it was more going into where the dunes are and uh, I was just I was just like why can't you pick up the dog shit like you know what I mean you know, I know I touched on this before, but like I just can't fathom, I can't understand why people don't pick it up. It's a simple for okay, don't get me wrong. It's not that it's not the nicest things to be doing of a Sunday or any day. But if you're gonna bring the dog, you got the dog for a reason. If you're gonna bring the dog, the dog shits and goes to the other. So you have to look after it, you know what I mean? So uh yeah, three of them. And then the other thing was some of the owners having the little bastards now I mean I love dogs so like I'm not saying this lightly but some of the little bastards weren't on the lead you know what I mean now I know it's great to, to let the dogs run free but one little yappy fucker yes the little Jack Russell and tell you nearly got a fucking toe in the hole 
came over now Eddie's small Eddie's only a shih tzu but she's a fairly placid little dog you know now she can stand her own like she wouldn't take shit now to be honest but this little fucker came over and started nipping on her do you know what I mean and, and wasn't even sniffing it was it was more of a more of a little bite he was giving you know what I mean I hit that fuck and I looked over at the owner says what's the story here you know and she was like oh whatever she was calling the fucking dog princess or something like that because the princess she'd be a fucking dead princess now in about two minutes um, but yeah just people letting the dogs off the leads and then the result of this big other fucking thing I don't know what he was gorgeous dog but the fucking size of him like I'd say he's about six foot three and it's hind legs the fucking thing had stay our muscles and everything and that was just running around the beach free. Now, the only thing I got from that dog was, even though it looked intimidating, I think it was a fairly placid old dog, you know what I mean? It was just a big kind of he just it kept me drift. But still at that, like between the shitting and the no leads, I think, you know what I mean, certain owners need to kind of, they need, they need to take, you know, that's the word I'm looking for, take ownership of stuff like that, you know what I mean? If you're going to walk the dog, you have to know that it's going to happen too. You know what I mean? And that's the way it is, and and you know. But like, I just think some people just don't give a flying fuck. To be honest, you know. What else is I gonna say? I had something else to say there. Oh yeah. One thing I'm noticing lately, right? And I think I might have touched on this before, but I'm talking personally here as well. <coughs> <clears throat> Why do people purposely want to have drama in their lives? Like, why? Why does someone want to be squabbling? Why does someone want to have hostility? And why does someone want bad feeling? I, I, I just, I can't fathom it now. To be honest, I don't like bad feeling myself. Now, if someone's at me, like I, I, you know what I mean. They're not going to get too far, but. I just can't understand why people just create negativity out of nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a few people trying to get a rise out of me at the moment and it's not working for them because I've completely changed my mindset. And, you know, I, I, I just, I don't get involved. Do you know what I mean? I just couldn't be arsed, to be honest. It's of no interest to me <coughs> to get into shite with some fucking idiot, you know? I just can't fathom it like people they just purposely thrive on drama and negativity and just wanting there to be ill feeling there do you know what I mean and I, you know I, I can't say I can't talk the names here but I just look at them and kind of go is that all you have in your life because I'll tell you one thing I have a fucking abundance of good stuff in my life that I care more about you know what I mean and little people like you mean absolutely fuck all to me do you know what I mean like you know it's gas I just certain things have happened over the last say we'll say the space of two or three months and like I haven't I haven't bit you know what I mean I haven't answered anything or not that people are mailing me but I mean I haven't I haven't got into it with these people because I just, I find, right, the way I look at it is, <coughs> when people do this, and I'm not talking about the singing here, so, but when people do that kind of stuff, I find there's an ounce of jealousy there with people. Now, I'm not a rich man by any means. I have my house, whatever, 14, 15 years now. Bought it myself, which I'm very proud of. But, I don't have, a, you know, a ton of material things to be, to be flaunting around like that. I don't want material things. I couldn't give a flying fuck. I'd rather be sitting on a beach with no money in my pocket than fucking, you know what I mean, being unhappy about a ton of money, you know? So, but anyway, I just find that, you know, there's a hint of jealousy with people because they look and see it being happy. You know what I mean? And just doing normal things, either together as a family or, you know, in success or just just the general fact that you're actually generally happy and positive in yourself do you know what I mean we all have our problems listen come here I've got my problems as well it's just I don't fucking I I what's the word I'm looking for I don't 
air by Georgie Lennon in public like most of the fucking population now and that's one of the reasons why I took my profile down from Facebook I still have other pages up there but my profile the scrolling profile as I call it I just got so fucking worked up looking at people's um, you know statuses and, and profiles the way they were going on and debating with other people and I'm just going you pair of fucking saddles <coughs> what are you even bothering for it's a social media site <coughs> and some people just want to get into something they just thrive on this crap and they a lot of them use Facebook as a portal now to express now don't get me wrong I have put up passive aggressive posts before myself and you know but I just find that people are just so quick to throw stuff up in the hope that it gets a bit of recognition because to be honest with you any of these people that are you know trying to rise me I have blocked so I don't see a fucking thing so the grand thing about it is even though they're trying to rise whatever comments they're making it's going into oblivion it's it's not being seen you know what I mean so um, I just find this I, I find it these people will end up very very unhappy people later in life and I do find as well that karma is a hugely strong force and to be quite honest with you people need to realise that if you do bad on people it will come back on you and that's the way it is like I, I did bad things in the 90s not so much on people but I did bad things in the 90s and I firmly believe that the old lad upstairs said right we're going to give you a kidney transplant for that you know what I mean we're going to give you you know real failure and I do believe that's the case because <coughs> I did a few bad things in the 90s and that's the way it was but uh, yeah I think people need, need to just lighten the fuck up and just really just live a happy fucking life you don't have to you don't have to be rich to live a happy life you don't have to do you know what I mean? It's just live a happy life. Fucking don't, don't always have negativity and toxicity in your life because I'll tell you one thing, it's going to consume you eventually. And that's when the bad shit happens and you probably will get depressed or you'll, you know what I mean? You might do worse. And that's just my feelings. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit here this morning, but I've just kind of seen it over the last few months and even in the last few weeks stuff has happened.